Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for the next video. Um, in this video, I want to talk about 3D printed cars uh, and vehicles. I um, had a birthday this week, or not this week, but a couple weeks ago, and my wife went and got me a bunch of these 3D cars, and I, I thought it might be interesting to show you, you know, the process of how they get painted and how to deal with these. Um, because it's not as simple as just, you know, take out a can of spray paint and spray them. Uh, it's a little bit more involved. Now this one I've already done, as you can see. It's a uh, Ford Bronco. I think it came out pretty good. Um, so, I was going to take, I, my thought for this video is to take one of these and um, go through the process of how to paint these. And, and I'll take one of these and, and do that. Um, I think just to keep things equal, I'm thinking I'm going to end up painting another one of these. I have two of these. I have two Mustangs here. I got two of these Broncos. I have a couple of Chevy crew cabs, a dump truck. This is, she found a camper trailer here, uh, a, tr a, a piggyback camper for a pickup truck. And this one is a little more interesting. It's actually in pieces. Um, Let's see. It's actually pieces, so the, the, the camper shell comes off, and then you're left with the truck, and then the truck itself comes apart, and this allows you to put figures inside. And this all gets painted separately, which allows you to really get in there and do what you want to do. So this is just one of the, the, the models that I have that does this. Um, And then some of the more involved ones that are going to need to be painted are like this backhoe here. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on with this. And uh, this is going to take me several hours to get this painted up and looking like it should. So I'm going to do that myself without camera. But the ones that are left are these. Now these Chevy crew cabs here, these trucks here, have separate tires to be applied. Uh, see if I can show you those. Okay, so here are the tires that go on those two trucks. So these need to get painted separately from the truck and then applied to the truck. Um, this dump truck, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it, it's all there. There's a couple of 40 counter line vans. Um, so that's that's what I have. That's what we're going to do this week. So let's talk a little bit about um, how to prepare these for paint because you don't. And these were ordered from Shapeways. Let me let me just say, Shapeways.com. Uh, they have the largest selection of 3D printed stuff I've ever seen in one place. Um, you can find almost anything in there. Uh, so that being said, let's 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 go into uh, what you have to do when you get these. So you you pick these off the off the internet in their online catalogs, and you get pretty much this. This this is what you get. There's a hole on the bottom from the printing process, but the details are all there. Now when you get these, they feel a little bit waxy. Um, they need to be cleaned really well. So what I did, um, they recommend that you soak them in dish detergent, warm dish detergent water for three to six hours and then take them out and dry them. Um, what I did was I took the dish detergent water and I put it in one of my wife's um, ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. Um, just plugged it in and dumped it in, dumped these in there for about a half an hour and they come out looking a little more frosted. They're not quite as clear. Like this one I didn't clean and it looks a little more clean and clear and, and nice um, but this one still needs to be cleaned. These are what you end up with and, and then you dry them off. You gotta let them sit a few days. I, I, at least I do. Let them sit a few days 
to dry to make sure that there's no water. You don't want any water if there's some on the inside to come out and start messing with your paints on the outside. Um, after they're cleaned, then they need to be primed. Now I'm using white primer for mine. Um, and then I, I, once they're primed, and I do these one at a time because it's just easier for me and I would rather take one and go through it complete and get it all done and then go on to the next one than try and do them all at one time. So I do them one at a time and uh, so I'll take one and like I said, I, I, I think I may do this uh, this Bronco just to keep things the same so you can see how they look. So this is what it looks like now. And like I said, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go prime it. And I don't think the detail comes off on this like it should. The detail is really good on these. Um, it, it doesn't really come out until they're painted. What I have is a wooden dowel, okay? And this dowel mostly fits inside the hole here. So as, as it is raw like this, it's it's very loose on on the truck so when I go to airbrush it it's gonna wiggle around I don't want that so I wrapped a little bit of tape around it painters tape and it makes the stick just a little bit thicker and I can twist this right into the hole now it doesn't move okay and this is how it's gonna stay until it's done being painted and so why don't we go on to the process. I, I don't think I'm going to show you how to airbrush these. I, I'm, I'm going to leave that to you to figure out. I've done a little bit of video on how to do that stuff and I, I think I'm over it. Um, there's a ton of videos for how to airbrush. So I'm just going to go primer this white and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one. So, so this one I've made blue down there and I think I'm going to do this one red. This is uh, Model Master paint. It's Insignia Red. So I think that's what I'm going to paint it with. So I'll have a blue one and a red one. And I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to uh, do the cap in a separate color. I don't think. I may change my mind by the time I get back up. But uh, why don't we start with getting this thing primed and painted. And we'll come back when that's all done. Alright, so I've, I've gone and painted this. I've um, I primed it white and I painted it red. This is Model Master Insignia Red and it came out pretty good. Um, so there it is. And now I'm just going to set it up into this little jig I've, I've figured out here. Um, what this is this is one of those helping hands things that has a clip on both ends and a magnifying glass is supposed to be in the center of it. So I took out the magnifying glass, I don't need that. I've clamped this jig here to my desktop and now I can take this dowel with the truck and put it right in the clip. And now I can move this around anywhere I want it and position it any way I need. So with that all being said, now I have all my colors all ready to go. Um, I have I have a uh, silver. And these are these three are Citadel paints. I have a silver. I have a gray. I have white. I have flat black. And then I'm using an aged concrete color. And then I have a red craft paint here. So that's what I'm going to use to paint this with. Um, and then of course I have my my brushes and these are various um, fineness in there in the, in the, in the bristles um, and this is what I'm going to use this is everything that's going to be used to paint this um, now this is going to go quick I'm not going to take a, a lot of time explaining it while I'm painting I'm just going to I'm going to start doing this and then you'll see it in fast time so it'll get done rather quickly um, but this is the process of how I do these.
All right, so there we go. That's pretty much done. I'm not going to go too much further with this. We can turn this around so you can see the whole thing. Um, I, I think I'm happy with it. We're going to let it fly. Uh, and that's that's the whole process. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. And uh, like always, if, if you're watching this for the first time, please subscribe. See what I got going on. Love to have you watching. Um, so that's going to be it for this week. So until next week, happy modeling.